Hello, welcome again to another one of Rusty Reactions. I'm Rusty, coming at you with another reaction. Now, I'm doing a reaction to this show because I just feel that, like it deserves it. <laughs> it deserves it. Now, this has been out for a couple of weeks now. It's a TV new TV series on Netflix called Brand New Cherry Flavor, and it stars uh, Rosa Zelazar. And... Um, it's one of those shows that, you know, you you see it, it. It hasn't been widely advertised. So if it was to spark your interest, it would be because someone else reviewed it or, you know, you just stumbled across it. And I feel like it's, it's worth a reaction video. Just so if someone stumbles across it, they, they'll be inclined to take a look themselves. Now, it's classed as a, a horror mystery, I think. Horror mystery, would it be? Horror. But it starts off with um, uh, Lisa Nova, who goes to uh, Los Angeles to get her film directed. She made a short film, and she goes there, and she meets up with a fella called uh, Eric Lang, uh, no, that's the that's the name of the actor, uh, Lou Burke. So he meets, she meets up with Lou Burke, and they get this connection together, and they are, uh, you know, um, work out a way where uh, they can sort of make it happen, and and she can be the director of it. Um, and then that goes south a little bit when he starts cracking onto her, and um, she. Sh gets out the car and she walks off and he, he pisses off and then the next day it all changes because the contract that was signed um, uh, he changed it to get another director in which absolutely shatters her and um, and around that time she met up with the crazy cat woman so we've got a crazy cat woman in here in the show <laughs> and um and then that just turn and that that just starts the whole show off for me the whole um you know the revenge of uh, Lisa wanting to get to Lou Burke um but she can't do it alone and she ends up going to this crazy cat woman where she basically lays it on the line saying look I'll do anything you know, let's get started. And she's a witch. Boro. Uh, Boro. Boro. I was, oh, oh, say Boro. 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 <laughs> and, um, so, yeah, so she has the connection with her. They sort of make up a, a spell. And they start to interact with each other, which is what was supposed to happen anyway always because at the start of the show that motorbike was following her so she ended up going to where she went to that house and that guy with the helmet was there so you 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 think that it was inevitable that they were always going to meet so it's like a it's like a reality that's sort of put in place sequences that were all supposed to happen so that's that's an interesting aspect to it that um um yeah that it was it was meant to be um so yeah she spews up a cat and the cat's there and she's like oh yeah all right that was a bit weird but anyway can we do it can we get back at this lou burke guy and that was pretty much the end of the episode the first episode so that was sort of yeah okay it was interesting but all right i need to see more i need to know more so i watched episode two straight up and um then the the revenge sort of aspect to the um the potion that she was given or the, the witchcraft the spell where she had to uh you know, uh, eat that stew and she was seeing all those demons during the episode and um, she had to track down these items by a certain time 
like the the image of Lou, as well as his pubic hair. Why pubic hair? I don't know. Why couldn't it just been hair? Um, and then uh, she ends up going to jail because she breaks into his house. Well, you know, finds a way to with those other two guys to get into the house. And she's spinning around. It's a sort of messed up sort of world she's living in now, trying to uh, go along this path of retrieving these items. She ends up in jail where she spews up another cat. And everyone's like, oh, she spewed up a cat. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a bit gross. Oh, well, it's like crazy cat lady. Ever since she met her, she's been spewing up cats. And you're not worried about that? <laughs> what is going on? Um, yeah, so, uh, so then Lou goes around to her house and gives... Gives her his pubic hair, so it makes me think that this is all orchestrated in some weird world where where everything's lining up to to an ending, to a predictable ending, which I, I can't predict. I have no idea where this show's going, and that's the best part about it, is I, I'm intrigued, I'm entrenched in it, I want to know more. I want to find out more. What's going on with these demons? What's going on with spewing up these cats? What's going to happen to Lou Burke once the revenge kicks in? Um, what's going to happen with uh, Lisa Nova and this crazy witch woman? Crazy witch cat woman lady? Um, so it's definitely worth a look. And... Just looking at that image there that I've got on the screen, it's like, you know, when you see something, it's like, oh, yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll watch it, and you watch it, and then you get entrenched in it, and then it's like, okay, let's start looking at the finer details of things. And um, I didn't notice that when I looked at that image first up, I thought it was a cherry in her mouth. I didn't even, I didn't, wasn't even looking that hard. But then I, I after I watched a couple episodes and I was putting this, video together I looked at it closely and it's an eye that's when you know that you're getting interested in a show when you when you want when you need and you want to see and um, you know you want to know every detail of the show going in you want to know if you're trying to look for every aspect to give you a clue what's going to happen next so that's a good feeling for me um, so yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd make a quick video on this. I'm intrigued by it. Rosara, uh, Rosa Salazar is absolutely gold in this. So is Eric Lang and, um, Catherine, uh, Keener. Just the whole vibe, that creepy vibey, um, creepy vibe I'm getting from Lou Reed and the, the mystery of, of Lisa Nova about what's going to happen with a movie, directing a movie, what's going to happen with her and Crazy Cat Lady, um, what's going to happen with the revenge to Lou Burke. Uh, there's so many questions that need to be answered. So, um, look, I'll watch the whole series. I might do a final review. Um, I might... But I'll be definitely watching the rest of this series because it's definitely worth a mention and it's it's intriguing um, to say the very least. So yeah, really good start. I haven't watched anything like this for a long time. So um, something new, something interesting, something uh, intriguing, uh, a lot of mystery about it. And uh, where it goes from here, because you got the you got the wit witch aspect, you got the um, you know the creepy horror sort of ghosts or or uh, devil images in the background as well to go off. So what happens next? I have no clue, but I'm glad I found it, and uh, I'm interested to see where it goes. So that's my little reaction to that, guys. Two episodes of 
brand new cherry flavor starring Rosa Salazar. Um, like this video if you like it. Comment down below if you've seen it. What do you think about this show? Uh, subscribe if you want to. Co comment down below what I should react to next. And maybe that might be my next video. So until then, guys, take care.